Hey there, hello there, hello there, it's Jeff Cutter, Diamond Wolf, welcome you to another Title Belt Boxing Tournament. We just finished the 1892 tournament in which Jimmy Crothers went through the field and took down one of the two Canadians and took down young Marshall or whatever his name, young Mitchell to get in. But now we got to go with another year. 1994, I think I did 1994. Yes, we did. Hmm. 2004? Maybe? No? Hmm. Let's go 1884. No, 1984. 84, 74, 64. 1964, I guess. Go back to the 60s, and that'll be the fifth time we hit the 1960s. So 1964, it shall be. Not nineteen. Nineteen eighty-four for nineteen sixty-four. Two or six one possible fights. February the seventeenth. Okay, so there is no um, other guys. There's Schmidt. Okay, so he's page 29, not even close to page 1. All right, so he will face... Pascal Perez will face... Mino Minia. Oral Minia. Remember, page 20, so that's a 4. Oscar Bonavania will take on Gert Van Heerden. Gene Wells. I know he's fun. Okay. We'll give him a little bit of a doubt. Shall we? Shall we? Steve Tony, page 29. Carlos Monzon's on four. Pascal Perez. Antonio Amaya from Panama. Okay, so page one is all but done. Giordano. I think he's like a page eight, isn't he? He is a page four. Okay. We can do that one. Freddie Mac and Kawakami. Freddie Mac may have had one fight, but I think... What? George Benton. Against Cleveland Williams. Sora Foley, I think it's done six. Charlie Polite, it's two two. Page 29. I'm gonna go page two. Page two, boys. Gustav Schultz. I'll take on. Um, uh, Jimmy Ellis, two and one. Carlos Ortiz. I think I've seen him before. Yeah. And Casey, has he got to seven? Nope. Who's a okay. That's why I'm me. Ellis Brooks Don Turner. Page twenty-one, three, reading three. So we'll go with Sugar Ramos. Sugar Ramos. Where are you? Oh, there you are. Against Sandro Massini of Italia. Billy Collins. I think that's him. I've heard him. Mildenberger. Page 27. I go page 2, Mama. Vincente Salvador. We'll take on George Chavallo. Trying to make sure. Mildenberger. 1 and 2. And the other guys are complete guesses. Page 14. No, you're so close. Sorla Foley. Take on Carlos Canete and Kent Green. Page 26. So that's a two. So Joe Brown will take on da da da. 
Uzmaya Laguna. Laguna Beach. So, only one Canadian. Get a good friend of Americanos, Senor Simpson. So, it will be Sora Foley, who started out in three. He will face Carlos Monson, who was one in four. So, these guys, Monson and Foley, lost seven fights combined. And yet, now they're in the semifinals. Wow. The right tournament. Spider Kelly for Sora Foley. At the resort and gaming Jim Fitzgerald, your announcer, Arnold Pokrat, your referee, Castilla Suarez Mercante, your judges, Roy Pape, your ringside boy. So Monzon started at 0 and 4. Esco Pada. Esco Pada. 87-3-9. He was the middleweight champion. He's in both boxing hall of fames. And has done pretty well for himself. He lost his first four fights too. Marvin Hagler, Sonny Miss. The Moral Minya and Wilfred Benitez. And then by decision, he took down Antonio Maya, Adolf Pruitt, and Pascal Perez. And Sora Foley, the Bell. He died in 1972. Yikes. He was only 40. Longtime contender. Yep. Against Ali. He lost. Oh, did I put him in twice? Fuck, I didn't even realize that. Well, he, he technically beat Mash on Jimmy Ellis, wow, and George Benton. So, okay. I didn't even realize it. So, I put it fully in twice. And I get to
Judges' votes are in, and here, ladies and gentlemen, is your winner. Well, let's see. The expert says it would be one song. I have a feeling he's right. Oh, Castilla says Foley? Why? That does not make sense. Well, there's the Colombian, another Colombian judge. And Mercante puts it 142-141. Will he go with the hometown boy? Oh, he goes with Monson. I'm actually shocked. I thought Mercante was going to go nationalistic. Nationalistic ballistic. But no, he didn't go with Foley. I'm surprised. And the budget accuracy was there, 43%. Well, now who does he have to face? He will have to face Carlos Ortiz or Joe Brown. So the American Joe Brown will be making it against Carlos Ortiz. I think this is another Argentine, I think, right? It's at the Coliseum Arena. Ben Bentley, you're... Ring announcement. Gus Padilla, your referee. Short, Greer, and Reyes, your judges. Danny Callahan, your ringside expert. Puerto Rico, okay. So if Ortiz wins, the Puerto Rican wins, then it's a non American final. WBC and WBA lightweight champion, 61 71 in his lifetime. He lost to Ray Robinson a long time ago after being Phil Kim, but he's majority decision offer. Coburn T. killed Ruff Charles and beats Sugar Ramos of Cuba. Joe Brown, old bones, they call him from New Orleans. As they say, and his biography, 105, 46, and 13. He was the lightweight champion for a while. And his compilation, well, he had a tournament when he beat Jackie. He only had one fight outside of New Orleans. Oh, well, anyway, he beat California Jackie Wilson for losing to Rocky Graciano. And then after beating Carlo Orlandi, Orlandi and Aldo Sparodi, he lost to Bob Montgomery. And then he has T. Killed Ismael Laguna, big one. Decision Carlos Ruben Canate and killed Carl Mildenberger. So good for him. Condition. So Ortiz versus Brown. Who would get more song? Who faces Mon Song? Puerto Rico does have a champion. Let's see that. The Nat was Camacho. Puerto Rico is like the second champion. Argentina. Argentina doesn't have a champ. I'm pretty sure you did. So no Argentina has won. So Wilson might give Argentina a chance to play in the nation's cup. If he wins. That's huge.
Ladies and gentlemen, we have your decision. So, we'll see. Scorecards read 145, 141. Okay, so it might be the battle of the Latin, uh, Latinos, uh, Latin fighters. Puerto Rico versus Argentina, it looks like. Does Ortiz have it? Yay or nay? Yay. Well, Tyron Short puts it 146-139. Ooh, I think we know who wins this one. Based on the score, Dave Greer, 143-142. And Reyes, 144-141. So who is it? It is going to be Ortiz. Figured as much. Poor Brown. Well... You know that, look at the punching accuracy, 62%. Look at the combinations and the crosses. Holy guac. Look at Ortiz, jabs and hooks. So, you can kind of guess where this is going to go. So, we have Argentina versus Puerto Rico. 
The bad news is that both fighters uh, will hit the 75 bar. Even if Ortiz loses, he's 5 and 2. He will not be eligible for the tournament out of the 128 guys. David Nagy Smith, Spider Kelly, Superdomo in Argentina, Ben Bentley, your announcer. With Rafael Ramos, your referee, Perez, Putrich, and Betzer, your judge, is Jim Trenzel, your ringside expert. So, Mosson, Cuatro de Cuatro, 5'11 and a half, 161. Uno, Septe, Uno, Sexte, oh, Uno. And Carlos Ortiz, Quince, and Uno, and 5'7. So, we'll see. We'll see. I think it might be Ortiz. But I. <laughs> There's a lot of history in the United States. Monson's win would be huge because it gets Argentina, not only a fighter in the 128 million dollar tournament, it actually gets Argentina a spot in the nation's cup because they haven't had a guy yet. Mm
three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I think this was basically a done deal. Ortiz tried, but he faded near the end. Monson goes to five and four with that big KO of Ortiz. So, great job by him. Not so far, Keys trying to become the second Puerto Rican to win. The Canadian Trafalo beat Salvador, which was huge, and then he lost to Bilderberger by TKO. Not good, but at least one.